Hey everybody, welcome back to Freedom Homestead. Uh, it is getting springtime. Daylight savings is upon us. We have more daylight. The weather's getting warmer. It is time to start building the raised beds. So let's get going. Okay friends, so what we are doing this year, it being our first uh, year, first season getting things in place. So we are going with six four by 10 raised beds, but we, we decided that we're gonna lay them out two deep and three wide. Uh, we bought the materials for five raised beds because we do have scrap material that we got from someone down the street. Um, to build our sixth bed. So uh, for the four, for the five beds, uh, the materials that Jack bought today, uh, they average about 30 bucks per bed. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna get these put together and uh, hopefully if there's time today, we hope to go get some compost. So we'll see how this plays out. So what we're doing, what we're doing now, we've, we've got five beds put together and um, so we've got them put together. Now we're just going to place them where we want them because the next step is filling them. friends it's actually a couple of days later and today I went and picked up some compost it's already about five o'clock and I'm expecting Jack to be home anytime soon or anytime now and then we've got to take Emily to softball practice so I'm gonna try to get as much of this unloaded as possible um, I've got my first bed I've got it uh, loaded down with cardboard uh, I got my compost and then in the back of the truck I've got a couple of packages of peat moss. I have no idea how much I'm gonna end up using. I'm following Luke's autopilot garden book to the T. Um, we have some straw bales right there that have been 
uh, overwintering and they've broken down some so they're going to be perfect to use in the core garden. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting uh, the dirt shoveled in to at least one bed. We'll see how far this dirt will take us. And uh, yeah, and then hopefully I can go ahead and get some of uh, get some peas and cabbage in the ground very right, soon. Friends. Jack just got home from work, so he went straight in to change, and he's helping me. Uh, we got Parker out here helping. Also, we've got our core going into our raised bed. Things are starting to shape up. Very, very excited. We've got the core charged, which basically just means that we've wet it really, really good, and now we're going to finish filling up the bed. Good morning friends I'm standing right in the sunshine but uh, yeah our one truck load gave us uh, one full bed and part of another um, but do you know what I forgot to do forgot to mix in my peat moss so I'm going to be uh, as soon as it gets a little warmer I'm gonna be mixing in some peat moss here so hopefully that's gonna bulk up the bed a little bit um, but we've used a compost from the same guy before and it does pack a little bit so I wanted to add some peat moss to keep it kind of loose and um, and of course we can go ahead and uh, probably add the core into this one and then hopefully I uh, will be able to get more compost later on today but as soon as I get this one ready I've got some cabbage that's ready to go into the ground I also have some things that I'm ready to plant so very exciting time okay guys so uh, we have got a bunch of compost in here, so now I'm just gonna dig out the trench to put in the core. And then the core is our uh, straw that we've had kind of breaking down over the winter. And uh, yeah, put eight inches in the center and then we charge it, which basically what that means is we just make sure that it's good and soaked with water. Uh, Luke's book says that if you don't get it charged properly, you'll never get enough moisture in there for it to do what it's supposed to do. So. Here's to an autopilot garden. We just wanted to show you really quick what we have done so far. Now, I will tell you that it's been a week since the what you just saw us do, um, where we were all bundled up and um, putting straw in the beds and everything. But what we've got completed so far is we have three and a half beds filled. We've got our um, compost and our core, and I still have not uh, put in the peat moss yet but I will when it gets a little bit warmer. It's a little too chilly to be out here for very long. We had a front blow through yesterday and we've had a couple of nights in a row of, de of a heavy frost. Um, so, and we're supposed to have another one tonight. But yeah, so that's what we've got done so far. We still have one more bed to build with the scrap material that we have. So we, and then we also have to get a couple more loads of compost. But we're very excited. Our last frost date is April the 11th. Uh, around that time, I'm going to be filling a couple of the beds with some spring uh, vegetables. I've got cabbage that is dying to get into some dirt. Um, so I'll be planting the cabbage. We'll be planting some peas. I have a couple of different types of peas that I'm excited about trying. Um, I might just go ahead and start some broccoli, plant direct sow them. I know it's kind of wishful thinking that they'll be ready in time before it gets too hot 
but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. That way you can watch our journey as we are establishing our homestead. Um, we're coming up on a year since being here. Uh, end of May uh, is will be a year that we've been here. So this is, we are getting everything established. We've got the compost bin, which you saw Jack build. Um, we still have a couple of things left to do with that. We're gonna put on some doors. We're gonna put some chicken wire around the bottom. Um, we're gonna add braces to the side. So you'll see that. Uh, in an upcoming video, but yeah, we got to finish getting these beds filled. We're gonna get them filled up and we're gonna start growing some food. We've already got a uh, place picked out to put the chicken coop. So yeah, things are just coming along. But anyway, we're so excited. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notifications every time we post a new video. I'm gonna go in. Y'all have a great day. Until next time.